Welcome to the Wallach Way. My name is Emily, and today's video is our animal morning basket. For trivia, Mad Libs, and poetry, we have the weird but true animals, 300 outrageous facts about wacky wildlife. We love these. They're always so much fun, and so many fun, outrageous facts we probably never would have learned otherwise. The Mad About Animals Mad Libs. Poetry for Young People Animal Poems. Around the World on 80 Legs. These are hilarious poems. And then the National Geographic Book of Animal Poetry. What I love about this one is how gorgeous it is. So it has all of the realistic pictures that you've come to expect from National Geographic. And it just makes reading them absolutely enjoyable. Next up, we have read alouds. Now these are the read alouds that we will be reading from like a little bit every day. And then I also have a stack of picture books to show you guys as well. So I actually have three of the different National Geographic kids, um, 125. This one is 125 True Story of Amazing Animals. This one is 125 Animals That Changed the World. And then this one is 125 True Stories of Amazing Animal Friendships. Um, this is what the inside of them looks like. I don't know if we'll read these in their entirety. I just really loved that they were all true stories. And so I figured we would kind of slowly make our way through them. And then I do plan on us reading the Usborne World of Animals basically from front to back because it kind of covers everything. So you have the animal planet and then after going through the animal planet, it goes through each of the continents um, and then ocean life and there's the internet links. So I just kind of figured we would read this one as is from front to back and cover a little bit of all the animal things. And this one as well, The Atlas of Animal Adventures. I've had this book forever and we've looked through it before. But we've never read it in its entirety and I absolutely love it. So I'm excited to read about all of the different animal journeys. I think what I'm going to do is read one when we're in that section here. So for example, when we get to... Um, I can find it. South and Central America. I will read from the Central and South America section and just kind of do that section kind of at the same time, just so you have an idea of what we're doing. But this is what it looks like. So each spread is one animal's adventure. So this is fruit bats of Zambia. And then there's like all these little facts about fruit bats or for example, the hippos from Botswana. And then there's all these little facts about hippos after talking about their adventure that they take. And then this is the stack of picture books that I have for us to go through. Um, keeping in mind that this is the majority of what we'll be doing this summer. So this is kind of a mix of morning basket, unit study, all of it as a smorgasbord. Obviously we will be reading all of the who would win books because that is part of what we are doing this summer as our unit study. So those will all be read during our morning time. Amazing series in case you've never seen inside it. It is a super fun way to learn more about animal science, life science, zoology, all of those things. And then in addition to those, I thought it would be really fun to read the What If You Had series. So this is the What If You Had the Animal Nose, What If You Had Animal Teeth, What If You Had Animal Feet, What If You Had an Animal Tail, What If You Had Animal Ears, 
What if you had animal eyes? What if you had animal hair? And then what if you had T-Rex teeth and other dinosaur parts? And then each of these books are set up really similar to, they're a lot of fun. Basically you wake up one day and you have these new parts and it kind of goes through why each animal has the specific part and what it helps them do and what it would help you do if you had it. So it's a lot of fun and a way to learn more about animals and their pieces and their parts and you know why they have them and all of that because what we are doing mostly this summer is like who would win between the animals i thought these battle books were hilarious so we have a battle of the brains the science behind animal minds and it is just kind of a simple like picture book with a ton so like the elephant and then you have more information about their brain and it keeps going through all of the different challengers until you kind of get to the end to where the winner would be and it being up to you basically. And then the same thing with Battle of the Butts, which is the science behind animal behinds. And of course, I don't know any kid that wouldn't love this. Um, so it's like the perfect addition to an animal study. And same thing again. So you have the different challengers and then more about them, butt bonuses, and then in the end, the winner. I also grabbed Invented by Animals, Meet the Creatures Who Inspired Our Everyday Technology. So kind of the same thing. It's all of the different animals and how they inspire different inventions in our world, different things that we actually use on a daily basis. And then by the same author, um, Built by Animals, so the creatures who inspired our homes and cities. And then the last picture book I have is Inside Animals, The Brilliant and Bizarre Bodies of Beasts Big and Small. And this one is just really unique. I've never really seen anything like it. This is all of the different animals included. And that's just, is going to be a really fun way to kind of talk about different pieces and parts, different anatomy of animals, and then see inside different ones that we're learning about or talking about. For hands-on activities for her to do while I am reading aloud, I have the Usborne Activity Cards Animal Doodles. These are 50 wipe clean cards and it even comes with the dry erase pen. Let's see if I can get these open. So I love these for car rides too, but basically each of these cards is dry erase and they're just front and back doodles. So you have the dry erase marker and this one says doodle more monkeys in the tree. Turn each of the shapes below into an animal. Draw my an more ants on the nest. So just fun kind of creative things for her to do while I'm reading um, that she can do over and over because they are dry erase. And then the Usborne Look and Find Puzzles animal. So I just picked this up to kind of give her, you know, something to look at if I was reading something, um, just to look for the different things that you can find in each of the puzzle books. I also thought it would be great um, for her to have during morning time if I have to uh, run and grab the phone or you know go to the restroom or something. It would give her something to pull out and do quickly and quietly while she waits for me to return to finish reading. The Wild Animals Magic Painting Book. I love these because I just need water. I actually don't use these marker or use these paintbrushes. I use the paintbrushes that have the water reservoir. And so she doesn't even have to get water and I'll talk about her spilling water. They're ready to go. And I love how beautiful these end up being when she's done. That's super convenient. Like I said, once I have those paintbrushes in our morning time, this folds out and it goes right here for her to paint 
and it's basically mess free, ready to go and creates beautiful artwork. The sticker by number Amazing Animal. I decided to try out the Brain Games version. We've tried the paint by number sticker for kids before. We've never tried this brand. So we're gonna try it out this time. And it has so many animal options in here. I'm excited to see how they turn out. If you've never done any of these before, basically you have the stickers and they're numbered and then you put them by number and it creates the picture when you're done. So let's see, yeah, there's an example. And then the last hands-on activity I have for her is a round table puzzle. This is wild animals. It's only 500 pieces, but I figure because it's round, it may be more difficult. Hopefully it'll take her a little bit longer. We will see but I thought it would be really fun to have all the different animals. And then last but not least, the games. Now I do also have the printable game pack that comes with our Who Would Win unit studies. Um, I just didn't pull it out. If you guys want to see it, I will link it in the eye in the sky. These are all animal games that we have that we'll play hopefully in about 15 minutes or less. That's kind of always my cut off for a morning time so that we can move on to whatever else we need to do. Um, we will start with Spot It. It's one of our favorites. This one is actually a junior spot it. So there are less animals on the card because it is a junior. I think there's only six or seven animals on each of these cards. So if you um, have a younger kid, this is perfect. Then we have the top Trump awesome animal. This is basically like an animal war and you have all of these different backs numbers right here and you are Basically taking turns, whoever wins the last round gets to pick whichever fact you each lay down a card and whoever has the higher of that is the winner. Then Quizoo, which is the wild fun fact race. This one is actually a lot of fun. Um, you have, let's see, these little things in case you need a reference for what um, like the winner of it would be. But basically the way this plays is you would have it like this and you would be looking at lifespan, or is that speed? Sorry, let's see, that's speed. And you would try to pick who you think is faster of these three and then Whoever says it first, and then you can check it, gets that card. Whoever has the most cards at the end wins. So it's kind of a spot it type of game. It's fast like that, but it's based off of animal facts. So lifespan, speed, weight, and size are the four categories. The animal family match is actually really fun because it is three. So unlike most memory games where you're trying to match two and this one you're trying to match three. So like a baby, a mama, and a daddy. And it has all kinds of different animals. Let's see here. You have parrots, penguins, tapirs, narwhal, ostrich and then it tells you more about them so it's a fun way to learn more about animal families and then the one that emily made me buy i personally think she's too old for it but when she saw the battle of the butts book she said we needed a game to go with it so this is it it's find my behind it's basically a memory game where you are just trying to match the head to the tail of an animal so you would just flip all of them over and just try to match the heads to the tails, obviously. Like I said, I think she's too young for it, but I'm not normally one to say no, and I do think it will be funny and go really well with the um, Battle of the Butts book. So that is another simple one if you need something for younger kids that would be great while you're learning about animals with older kids. Before I go, my friend Ruby the Leopard wanted to tell you a joke. Hey Ruby, why couldn't you play hide and seek? Because you were spotted. <laughs> That's my favorite game.